Let's talk about this question that I posted on my Instagram. We would like to know which of these equations has no solutions, not even in the complex world. The first one is square root of x is equal to negative 1. Next, square root of negative x is equal to 1. And then, square root of x is equal to i, the imaginary unit. And finally, square root of negative x is equal to i. So, what do you think? I would like to tell you the answer is A. In fact, the output of a square root cannot be a negative number, not even if you use complex numbers. So I would like to just solve the other ones for you guys and I will come back to A again for you guys. So for B, we have square root of negative x is equal to 1. This one is positive. Go ahead, square both sides. This and that cancel, this is totally okay. And we just get negative x equals 1 squared, which is 1. Divide both sides by negative, then you get x is equal to negative 1. And this right here will work. Why? Let's plug in and check. Plugging negative 1 into this x, we get square root of negative negative 1. Do this inside out. Negative times negative 1 is positive 1. And if we take the square root of that, we do end up with 1. Perfect. So it works. For the next one, square root of x is equal to i. Yes, we can still square both sides. It doesn't make sense to say this is not a negative number. This is an imaginary number. It's not negative, it's not positive. Okay. But we can still square both sides and cancel this. And I will tell you, x is equal to i squared, by definition, we get negative 1. And we have to isolate the x. This works. If you put that back, square root of negative 1, isn't this how we get i? Yes, just like earlier, it works. Finally, for this one, square both sides, cancel, and we are looking at negative x equals i squared, which is negative 1. Divide both sides by negative, we get x is equal to 1. And this right here will also work. Because if you put 1 in here, we get square root of negative 1, which is the same as i. Alright? Now, here is the deal. If we go back to number, if we go back to the first one, and look at square root of x is equal to negative 1, and say, hmm, why don't we just square both sides? Alright, I'll show you. If we square both sides, yes, this and that cancel, and we get x is equal to negative 1 times negative 1, we get positive 1. So what's wrong with this though? Well, I will tell you the answer right here does not work. It will not work. So you have to cross that out. Why? If you put 1 in there, we are looking at square root of 1, and we are trying to say that's equal to negative 1. This right here is wrong. Square root of a number, this is just a computation. You can only get a answer from that. And this is the positive square root, right, the symbol. Square root of 1 is just equal to positive 1, so it's not negative 1. Therefore, this equation has no solutions. And in fact, there are different equations that does not have solutions either, no matter how hard you try. All right, before we go, I wanted to give you guys another question. But this time, let's look for the equation that actually has solutions. So check this out. First, let me give you guys this. Let's say if you have 1 over x plus 2 is equal to 0. Next, I will say if we have 3 to the x power is equal to 0. Next, let's say if we have 1 plus x over 2 minus x, it's equal to negative 1. And finally, how about let's try the cube root of x, it's equal to negative 1. Alright, so let me know what your answer is in the comment down below. That's it.